if there's anything I've learned over the last couple of years of traveling the world and just you know doing my best to live my truth my purpose and discover really what that means it's that sometimes you'll know things to be true but the world won't agree with them and it will cause you to question yourself so in this video I want to talk a little bit about what to do with that and how to really hone in on what your truth actually is in this world because I believe that the world is waking up the world is becoming more aligned and more aware of themselves of who they truly are and asking those deeper questions at least from what I can see and this is a natural part of the evolution process of us as human beings to raise our levels of consciousness this is why we are here we must experience the darkness in the world to be able to understand what it means to have light within us and to be able to spread that into the world so when you know something to be true that is your inner guidance system speaking directly to you now I like to see this as source universe God speaking through me communicating to me and this is where you start to understand what your truth truly is and this causes a couple of problems because we've been led to believe that we need to outsource our decision-making to other people we need to find answers that are outside of ourselves we need to search for it we need to find it elsewhere learning developing your skill set and acquiring new knowledge it's something i do continuously it's the biggest part of my of my day usually is, is acquiring new knowledge but when it comes to how to really use that to make decisions you can only really gather enough information so that you can process it within yourself and then form your truth behind that with these new insights and there's a big difference between trusting your internal guidance your intuition your internal guidance system and just copying what somebody else told you is true just because they said it was true and you think of them as an authority you think of them as somebody who is you know better than you you put them on a pedestal now of course we can learn so much from people and people who have accomplished different things in life but what is true for them is not always going to be true for you and this is why it is so important for you to begin to trust yourself so how do we begin to trust ourselves well we need to go inwards with these things we always always have to go inwards and this means sitting with yourself, sitting with yourself, creating space, creating silence, whether that's through meditation, whether that's just through removing the devices and the things that are there to distract you and just spending time with yourself and allowing to come up what comes up. Because the things that are coming up for you are the things that are there for a reason because you have created those problems so that you could solve them. You see, at the end of the day, we are spiritual beings. We are not here just experiencing the physical reality as human beings and we go and we get a job and we get married and we get a house and we die and that's it there's far more to our experience here we are a human species we are a soul within a physical body and that means something and our mission here in this world is to discover our purpose is to discover what truly feels aligned to us to be able to create something in the world and then use that understanding that inner knowing that alignment that we find within ourselves by managing our mind our energy our mindset our performance overall and then channeling that into what it means to live our purpose so that we can create the material success that we want in the external world that we see around us okay and it's the first time you're hearing this then maybe that's a quite a lot to to really take in but that is really my truth my belief around what our purpose is here on earth and i believe that you know we have a general purpose we have a general purpose to expand our mind to help other people to contribute to humanity and the growth and expansion of that and we also have a specific purpose that is based on our unique gifts that we have in the world there's things that you're good at there's things that i'm good at and we have to discover what those things are because when you're really really good at something and you have those strengths you can apply that to the thing that you want to create align that with what means something to you and use your gifts your strengths to facilitate change in the world in whatever way you see fit and it's up to us to discover what that thing is for us and also discover what our true gifts are this could be teaching it could be synthesizing information it could be creating content it could be communicating with people it could be as simple as you just being willing and able to help people to a high level and you feel like that is something you feel called to do discover what that thing is because that is your x factor that is your uniqueness and when you apply that to something like a business model or you start to take 
action towards creating an online business or something around that that is based on your strengths and your purpose and your unique gifts that you have in this world that's where you can create something unique in the world because there's no amazing companies or businesses that are created off copying somebody else and their mission and purpose of course there's modeling and there's things that are similar but everybody has their own unique spin at least the ones that get very very big if you think about apple for example i always reference steve jobs when i think about what i want to do in this world and steve jobs was able to create something that is similar to other products right computers and devices and these things but he was able to make it so unique and build a brand around that that is something that is possible for you too and that is where you're really going to create something incredible in this world and that doesn't have to be the next apple it doesn't have to be a company at all but it's something that is true to you based on your gifts your strength and this is where you can use your internal guidance system to guide you in the direction of actualizing that purpose and that mission and that is the most beautiful creation that you can bring to the world and then it's about cultivating the discipline around that but i'll tell you this for sure I know this from experience. Discipline is not something that you need when you are in alignment with what your true purpose is and you're working towards that. There's very few days where I have to get up and force myself to work towards the things I'm working towards because I, I understand deeply what it is that I'm here to do. And when you understand deeply what you're here to do, discipline is an automatic thing that just comes with that because you're excited to build, you're excited to do something, you're excited to work. And work becomes just part of who you are. It's not like you have to go to work and force yourself to be there because when you create something from your truth yourself, you're not in a job. You're creating something and what's true to you. That's the difference. This is where working for long hours and, and getting into flow state and doing all these things becomes very, very easy because you understand what it is that you are here to do. That's where you can tap into things that are so much more powerful than just being disciplined and forcing yourself and grabbing yourself by the back of the neck and forcing yourself to work. And then with that, it's about having the courage to move forward. It's about having the courage to trust your internal guidance system, to, you, to trust your intuition and not base all of your decisions off what somebody else told you to do. We have to think for ourselves. Yes, get guidance from other people. Yes work with people who are going to help you go inwards that's exactly what I do with all of my clients but find someone who can force you to go inwards within yourself and discover that truth within you because that's where you make the big moves that's where you start to move with courage that's where you start to pave a new way and that's what we're all here to do in some way shape or form whether that's through a business a creation a brand a piece of content it could be a way of living it could be a way of operating in your family depending on what your uniqueness is within you and your unique experiences that have come up for you in this world how does that play a part in you discovering and living and actualizing your unique purpose in this world so with all this being said when you align yourself with that and you trust your internal guidance system and you know something to be true but the world starts to disagree with it or the world tells you that that's wrong it's up to you to have the courage to go within yourself and really discover what is true for you not what somebody else told you to do your truth is your truth speak it loudly speak it with pride speak it with enthusiasm speak it with confidence because only you know those things and as men this is something we have to do so much more of standing up becoming a leader building ourselves into that person who has integrity loyalty strength courage confidence within ourselves and when we do that and we actualize our purpose and our vision and our mission all of these material things that you want in your life the exploration the travel the material things the house the woman all these different things they come by default because of who you are who you are not what you do and that starts with trusting your internal guidance system so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you have more thoughts on this drop them below i want to hear what you're thinking what's coming up for you and if you're new to the channel subscribe i'll see you in the next video